Well, um, I, I'm so fortunate, really, that I, I sent an email to one of the directors at the film and got um, a positive reply that I could take the film uh, on January the 23rd. It's going to be um, myself uh, sort of going neurologically through the last 50 years. Well, obviously, I've got people who've supported me in the folk club, my little band, as it were, and they come and go according to their jobs and where they live. Um, but in addition, I've got uh, some of the people who have appeared at the folk club in the past few years, in the past 50 years. Jimmy McGregor of Robin Hall and Jimmy McGregor fame, and also Harvey Andrews. Um, he, he's just a wonderful singer-songwriter. And John Gorman, we appeared many times with the scaffold. And uh, now who else is there? Stan Kelly, who wrote Liverpool Lullaby and What Was the Colour of Your Father's Hair. Those two songs I've done second and third throughout my performances, really. And I, I, I love Stan's work very much. Nathan Carter, that I think you've featured, well, his younger brother now is going to be with us this evening. His name's Jacob. And then we have a fantastic choir called the Sense of Sound Choir. I, my friend John Mac, uh, Ma, Mac, Johnny Mack, we call him, he was the bass player with the spinners, and he's joining this evening, as is Terry Coyne, who is a very wonderful flautist. I hope I haven't meant, you know, forgotten anyone. It's a great lineup. Liverpool, my Liverpool, I'm gonna sing your praises. It's a place where history is made and has been through the ages. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacqueline MacDonald. been interested in the, the whole spectrum 
of community life when we lived in Liverpool. So naturally we included the Chinese community and of course we loved the Chinese food and so on. Um, but I love their music too and the interest in it. So we've in, I've invited the, sorry I keep saying we, because uh, this person on my shoulder is still here. And uh, so it, I've invited the Pagoda Youth Orchestra and it's the only Chinese youth orchestra, I believe, in the world outside mainland China. <laughs> What amuses me actually is that both the Spinners and Jackie and Bridie are so connected with Liverpool and yet there are six people in involved, four Spinners and Jackie and Bridie, and of the six only one of them was born in Liverpool. <laughs> well the Spinners of course were one of the first folk, cl folk clubs in the country and it wasn't long before Jackie rolled up, she was in teacher training college in Liverpool and she yelled at me, I think she yodelled for us. And it wasn't long after that before it was decided that uh, we'd change our form a little bit and invited Jackie to become one of the spins. Somebody had told me that there was a, a group of people singing in London Road and uh, the different floors and they had folk in the cellar and jazz on the top and different people. And so I went down and I could only sing two songs in those days in the folk idiom. Uh, I could yodel and uh, sang a clip, so, so I stood up when they said any singers and I did my clips on the other, and then they asked me to join them. <laughs> been fun for her driving around the country doing one night as in the van with four sweaty lads and all that. Anyhow she met Bridie and Bridie started doing a lot of the driving as well and uh, so it was pretty good for us. And actually I because I was single they were all well married then I never felt that they could go off and tour in the States and Germany and all of those things that beckoned me um, uh, however, in the end, they did turn professional, but at the time, it didn't seem as though they might. And I teamed up with Bridie because she was footloose and fancy free, and we could go where we, we fancied, you know. But it was good also when she left and formed yet another branch of the Spinners Folk Club, another uh, little club was born, and uh, as many others did. And of course, there was a huge boom after that, and it was led, of course, by Jackie and Bridie. And, uh, Quite right too, Jackie and Bridie nationally, I particularly remember them on a show that was hosted by Wally Whiten on uh, Radio 2 it would be, it might have been the live programme before that, it was called Country Meets Folk and they would perform live on that and they were, they were very good indeed. And they had a very successful series on Radio Merseyside as well. I think they did get reprimanded at one stage for playing too many of their own records, but that's the way they were, they were great. Back on stage with us, 
I'm going to sing and finish with the leaving of Liverpool and we would like um, either the Horton Weavers or Huey to pick the key. <laughs> Which Jackie, key? Hey, it's a sea song.
Kelsey, just out of planning school, has told us that we've got to go right out of Liverpool. They're sending us to Kirby, to Skemmersdale and Sea, but we want to stay where we used to play in Back to Narrative. Oh, we want to go to Narrative. 